little sunny in here or is it just me? I've got a, a, a little story for you guys before we get started on the topic here. Um, as you can probably notice, my bedroom is a little shiny right now. You know what happened? Okay, so I went home this weekend for a wedding. I came back last night. I walk up the stairs to my bedroom. I open the door to this. I'm gonna pan around a little bit so you guys can see my whole bedroom. Over there, that's my mirror. There's all my, uh, my blow dryer, my straightener, everything. Oh, there's my bed and my window and all my books and my movies and everything. Yeah, my whole bedroom is covered in tin foil. And you know who do th did this? My lovely girlfriend and my lovely best friend, who you guys know, Kai. So you know what? All I have to say is I'm impressed. Good job, guys, but watch out. I'm coming after you. Now that that is over with, we will get to the topic this week. And this week what we did is we did something kind of different. Each of us came up with a question that we wanted to know about all of the other girls on the channel. And we're going to answer those questions for you guys now. A little warning before we get started. Um, we have some, some sick and twisted minds in this group. And I don't know where people got came up with some of these questions. But it's certainly going to make for a very interesting week of video. First question. Trey said that in a video, you kind of make it known you have an impressive body count. Do you believe there's a count that qualifies someone as promiscuous? Um, I guess that one video we do talk about our kill counts, say, eh? and mine was a little up there. I don't think there's like a, a specific number that you can say that if you've slept with or been with this many people, it means that you're promiscuous. And by the way, not that promiscuity is, a, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or it's a good thing or you should or shouldn't do it, you know, make up your mind, do whatever you want. Um, but I think it all depends how much of a time frame you've had to make up that count. Like, let's say, I'm just going to throw out a number to 10. So your number is 10, but you've developed that number 10 in a month. That may be a little uh, promiscuous of you. Maybe that number came about from five years. That's roughly two people a year that you've slept with. I, For me, that sounds totally okay. Number two. The other question is from Presley. And Presley would like to know, is it okay that we have a slumber party in your basement? Well, Presley, this is what I have to say to you. Um, in the apartment that I live in now, we don't have a basement. But I have this pretty sweet tinfoil castle around me, and you are very welcome to come and have a slumber party with me any day. I have two boxes of craft in right here that uh, Kai and Tiff left me once they tinfoiled my room. So we will have a slumber party with craft dinner. That's okay with you. And Maddie wants to know what my favorite sport is. If you know me, you know that I'm not the most athletic of people, but the one sport that I would play any time for the rest of my life would probably have to be Quidditch. You heard it. That's my answer. If you don't know what that is, that sport is, shame on you and look it up. Kayla said, would you rather starve to death or eat nothing but human remains? Where does this come from? So, okay, so I'm choosing whether I want to starve to death, so kill myself, or eat other human beings. It's kind of weird right now. I'm reading the book The Science of the Lambs by about Hannibal Lecter, the cannibal guy that eats people. That's pretty good recipes. You know, you know, frying up a liver with some some onions, some garlic, a little bit of olive oil, maybe throwing some rosemary. You know, I'd give it a try. Why not? So sure, human remains, come at me. And Lauren asked, if you met someone who had never heard music before, what is the first song you would play them? What I did is I just went to my go-to number one favorite song in the whole world, and it's Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. So that's what I would play someone. I don't really have a big explanation for why it's my favorite song. It's just always been one of those songs that I really enjoy. Devin, if you could meet any one character from Harry Potter, who would it be? I had to think about this one, and I still... Such a hard choice, Devin. Why do you make me do things like this? I am going to go with so hard. This is so I feel like I'm like I'm hyperventilating here. I can't choose just one character from Harry Potter. But I think if I had to pick just one, I think I would I'm gonna be boring and say Harry. Because you know, Harry is basically like the modern day Jesus. He he's just pretty damn cool. And I would really like to meet him and, and uh, but I like to meet Harry Potter. 
not Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe is a cool guy and all, sure, but I want to meet actual Harry Potter. Uh, next question is from Cassandra. This is a very interesting one. Cassandra, thank you very much. Have you ever developed a weird fetish for one of your partners? I don't know what, what constitutes weird. My current girlfriend, I have a really weird fetish for tinfoil. This, it turns me on. Whew, it's getting hot in here. Whew, man. Yes, I am this. She just, she knows me so well. So really this was just, she just made this into a sex bedroom of epic proportions right here. No, I'm joking. I don't have a damn fetish for tinfoil. I'm not over this yet. The last question is from my good old friend Kai. And she would like to know, what is my favorite sex toy? Well, Kai, um, you did leave me. You left these sitting out for me, um, which is, you know, kind of telling in a sense that I had these just hanging on my bed. I guess I'm gonna answer this question. I am quite a fan of restraints of such. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this on YouTube. I'm sorry, family, if you're watching this. I don't have sex, ever. Kai, we can have a discussion about that if you would really like to. I'll give you a nice little education on my favorite toys, like light brights and Barbies. So those are my answers to the questions. Girls, I hope those entertained you. I hope you learned a lot about me. Uh, have a great week. I say go find some tinfoil for yourselves, wrap some shit up in it. One of my favorite things that they did, just a little mention, is this is a half uh, drank can of beer. Have a really, really good week. Bye, guys.